If it's their fault, I want them to make it right. Louise Howell fights back tears as she relives the morning of November 8th, the day the campfire tore through Butte County. And I went out there and um, I saw a big plume coming up over the mountain. And I ran in and I called my mother and I said, there's a huge fire out here. I don't know if I'll see you again or not, but I'm going to try. Louise drove to a crossing at Lake Concow, where a firefighter told her and others to jump into the water, their only chance at survival. And I don't know how long we were in there, a while. And then they came and said that they were going to take the burn victims out first. Now Louise and her mother, 93-year-old Lila Williams, who also escaped the fire, are suing PG&E. We have taken an unprecedented step in filing a lawsuit to preclude PG&E's continuing misrepresentations about the level of safety in their delivery of a safe supply of energy to Northern California. Attorney Frank Petrie says their suit seeks to stop PG&E from spending any more money on ads related to safety. They have routinely and repeatedly misled them into believing that PG&E has risk management systems and warning systems and collaborative cooperative systems in place to prevent against the risk of wildfires. In response, PG&E says advertising is paid for by shareholders and has no effect on rates. The company also says, quote, we are aware of lawsuits regarding the campfire. Right now, our focus is on assessing infrastructure, safely restoring power where possible, and helping our customers recover and rebuild. I don't want PG&E to be able to hurt any more people. We spoke with Cal Fire earlier today about the cause of the campfire. It is still under investigation and not clear at this point when they might get that answer. In Chico, Max Resnick, KCRA 3 News.